Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the beta that we're playing. Uh, there isn't much to report really. Not all vehicles have been updated with the new models. On this map anyway. Uh, I've only found a couple. Plus we have mods as well which are, are not currently affected. Overall performance seems better. I will say that. You can judge for yourself in the cab ride. OBS does seem to have some impact, but I'm not sure whether that's Windows 11, maybe. We have big rigs driving around in the background. The reason I upgraded those, we'll take a look in a second, is uh, they have compartments, which is ideal for that setup. Today we're going to be finishing off the, or redoing, the actual line to the airport, and we'll be tidying it up somewhat. We will be doing uh, an underground helix at the right place, not just in the middle of nowhere. That was just a quick fix, as it was taking forever. A new series will be starting Sunday. That's the plan anyway. By the time you're watching this, the DLC should be available and the update should have gone live. Uh, this is the day before. Well, no, now it, it's just turned 12. So it is today. I waited till the last minute in case there are any changes or updates to the beta, but it looks like a, a fairly teaserish type of beta this time around. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see today, I guess, what it looks like for real. And then Sunday, I'll be starting with the update and a new series, and it will have an end. Yeah, a busy, a busy station. We're over uh, near Athens, where we're going to be building. And there are all sorts of going on there, weren't there? We've got trains, trucks. No planes. I didn't see a single plane. I think we're actually looking in the wrong direction for that. So, uh, yeah, no planes. All right, you guys up. We've got some building to do, haven't we? Uh, we should go and take a look, though, at what has been updated in the beta. Uh, our trucks more than handle the uh, the trains that are dropping off our goodies now. In fact, yeah, you have goods on you. You don't. I'm going to sell one of these. We don't need this many anymore by a long shot. But uh, if we bring up the line, I guess I should... Uh, there we go. We're now 50-50 on steel and plastic, which they take down to our uh, our goods factory. Uh, which uh, d did downgrade a little bit. I uh, I let it play for a while before recording today, just to see how the uh, how the update is going. There were a couple of updates for this beta between uh, the last episode and now, but seriously, nothing to really write home about. Which is why there hasn't been a special video on it. Uh, it's. Uh, Fairly non-eventful, which is a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, our trains are just doing their thing. The mods we have installed do seem to work just fine. One updated model from the devs looks to be our bus here. We just spin around. This looks more detailed than before. I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, if we head inside, I don't quite remember the inside being this detailed. It seems more detailed, perhaps. Yeah, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell without a side-by-side -side comparison. But uh, there wasn't much side-by-side -side to do on our map. No, we've got a lot of modded locos. This does look to be new. I'll tell you why. That grill on the front. I certainly don't remember that being there. There, there seems a, quite a bit more detail, doesn't there, in there. Yeah, and if you go inside this as well, that's definitely an updated model. If they're all like that, that's kind of pleasant, isn't it? They have the new windows too, where they don't clip the the textures or the uh, the old X-ray vision. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still working. Before you would you would see vehicles. Well, sometimes you wouldn't see the vehicles and, and just the just the passengers or drivers. So yeah, it looks to be fixed now. I do like the new windows. They're actually windows. It's always a bonus, isn't it? That's the only vehicles I really 
seen any major difference. Oh, no, no, it's not, Mr. T. <laughs> the the big boy, of course. Oh, that's new. Yeah, the big boy's been upgraded as well, hasn't it? That was definitely not that detailed before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it. They've put quite a bit more work into these. Uh, what about the inside of the car? Oh, yes. All sorts of uh, detailed now inside the, the cab. Dear, oh, dear. Yeah, there we go. That's an improvement. That's for sure. Do we like that? I'm looking forward to seeing all the new vehicles. We will get a chance to look at them. I'm going to try and make sure that's a thing that we do. And uh, through the eras, possibly. Uh, if you're wondering what's coming for the new series, it is structured. Yeah, I haven't played scenarios, have I? We didn't even get very far in the campaign. I started it when it was first released and then got uh, the urge to just do my own thing with the Midwest mainline. So, uh, yeah, that'll be... That'll be uh, fun for me because uh, I completely forgot what those campaign things and scenarios are all about. It'll be a little f bit of fun to stretch our uh, game mechanic muscle. Use uh, all of our knowledge to achieve each of the, uh, the tasks at hand. These do seem better, don't they? Yeah, do like those. But yeah, the, the performance pretty solid I would say it's uh, an improvement I mean this isn't the quietest of maps it's not the busiest either but there's there's certainly a lot going on as far as lines are concerned I never really see much degradation with population counts as I try to balance them with limiting deliveries but uh, yeah usually if it was a an agent thing the, the amount of AI walking around if you went to the edge of the map, for example, and you like just looked here, the frame rate wouldn't change much because it would be limited by your CPU. So even looking around there would, would limit the, the frame rate. The simulation still running. All those little people are still doing what they're doing. And if the frame rate doesn't change much when you're over here, it's, uh, it's definitely... The amount of people on your map but if you get a huge boost in frame rate something else is going on possibly rendering unnecessary models and things like that hopefully that's uh, that's been addressed yeah because it's usually in a city isn't it you get down into the city and uh and it slows down somewhat but it does seem better absolutely anyway should we get a building done <laughs> we're gonna Oh, there goes one of our aircraft. We're gonna uh, we're gonna redo this. Our train is just heading up there, so that's perfect timing. I do want to do something over here first. Uh, yeah, we've got nobody on there. We don't need two trains running that, so technically we don't need the passing loop, but we'll leave it in. It's far too much. <laughs> two of these is just uh, overkill by the nth degree. There was a good idea suggested uh, for not having this and uh, having it a little more realistic. And that would be a road heading up to the side, the old depot there, which would be some sort of access road, which would sort out the issue of uh, it making a curve. And it wouldn't be out of the ordinary, would it? No. I mean, you could put buildings up there, I guess, if you had those mods installed. But uh, the reason I got rid of that train was I, I was looking at the, the line rates for these two, comparing them. Now, this train only needs to at least meet the aircraft in line rate. And as you can see, two aircraft is a line rate of 30. And just a single train is a line rate of 153. There we go. And the frequency, it's kind of nice, isn't it? That, that works, that works. The frequency is kind of important as you want them to overlap somewhat so that when aircraft are landing that there's trains either arriving or not far from arriving and uh, it was eight minutes and six minutes which uh, works well so we'll only need one train on here which helps us immensely as we don't have to worry too much about passing loops we could always put one in but uh, 
yeah, it's not really that important. Uh, these are bunched up a little bit, but I, we, we put those close together when we first added them. Perfect timing. He's about to leave. And we're going to get... I don't think this is a new model. It's a good comparison, though, because the cab is pretty much how the old cabs were if you go inside it's just nothing in there yeah this is this is like all the old models were there's not much in here at all this is the smallest cab in the world isn't it but there's the detail before and the ones we were looking at at the beginning of the episode are how they're going to be in the update right we don't need any of this anymore of course if you hold down your left mouse button you get to delete only track well i hope that's still the case anyway it is there we go i have deleted all of the uh the temporary track and we are going to change how this section works currently we cross over just there which we don't really want to do ideally we want to shut that off there and cross over up this end uh, so we won't need that either that way we're pretty much out of the way of the airport train shuttle and these guys can just cross over whenever they feel like it down this end and oh yeah, they don't have to be too quick do they there we go that should be good enough I've not really seen any issues with uh, track placement uh, yet. I've not seen any any crashes. Oh, have, have I put slow track in there? That's not what you want. Who was telling me? We want this, don't we? Yeah, and it's got to be electrified as well. Oh, is that down there now? They've tidied the, the UI up a little bit, haven't they? I've got it on classic. That is an option. Uh, settings. There we go. User interface mode, classic. You can have it, you can't change it mid-game, but you can change it to be uh, the uh, the new console version of the UI. So that's nice. Uh, for those of us who are used to this UI, we can keep it like that, can't we? What's up with you? Who's miserable? Oh, of course, the train going to the airport. You're not going to be happy, are you, at all? Let's make a start on this. We can be a little more direct now because, uh, of course, we are heading, and it's going to need to be electrified. We are heading up to this area, this uh, hill, and that's where our helix will be. Uh, we'll need the contours on. Oh, that looks a bit better. Have they changed that? I haven't got a mod, I'm fairly confident. That changes any of this, but the contour layer one looks a little tidier or a little darker. It's a little less garish. So there's there's nothing we really need to avoid heading that way. We do want to be heading down at some point, but we're going to do that in the tunnel, uh, the the underground helix, and so we'll just head off. We won't go down just yet. We'll head off nice and, yeah, nice and quick like that. It doesn't really matter, we're at a, a terminus, but we'll we'll head off and then we'll start heading down, but we'll head down gently without it being too steep because we'll make use of the tunnel once we get there. There we go, we'll start to curve round. I guess it doesn't need to be too quick. We could have a 100 mile an hour helix, I guess. <laughs> It's a little excessive, isn't it? That's kind of perfect, isn't it? I, we've got plenty of room under here to get to the the height we need. And the height we need, we're going to have to uh, figure out from this point. And we might make uh, a little more room for ourselves so we don't have to scoot out too far. So let's get the flattening tool there. Uh, it'll be good to see how the flattening tool works for us does look a lot smoother was that my imagination yeah, that, that looks a lot smoother I'm not sure that's part of the update maybe a side effect of the new rendering techniques that feels smooth and responsive it always felt a little uh, a little laggy before 
it'll take a little while to respond. Right, so we need to be heading up from here, uh, but we'll have a, a flat section because we're going to be climbing. And then we'll try and match the grade. So it was that, wasn't it? 1.5% grade. And we'll start heading up, ready to join the helix from this end. And we can see what sort of height we need then. We will terraform when necessary. Uh, so that it looks like it should be there. A little bit straighter perhaps there, just so we can gain a bit more height. And we'll continue around there. I did notice the... Uh, the tool tips are a little bit broken. I'm not going to blame the mod for that. Though. <laughs> I don't know, don't know how to get rid of those. That's a little awkward. Yeah, if you cancel it, it it does it doesn't remove the uh, the tool tip. Awkward. And yeah, uh, so that's there. What height are we? Sixty. What is that? Sixty-seven meters. And we're at one hundred and forty-nine. We've got a lot of distance to uh, make up haven't we so we are going to head down and we're going to head down maximum grade for the actual helix itself and we've got to get down to 60 something wasn't it if we can do it at 100 it would be kind of interesting more than anything I mean we should be fully underground now yeah we are is 100 radius 100 mile an hour radius too big i mean it's massive yeah it's a little too big isn't it perhaps but we'll see we'll see we're going on a journey guys i mean we haven't made up the ground yet and we're at maximum we're at maximum great we're gonna go into the city if we leave it at 100 oh my days yeah but we we haven't lost a lot of ground have we this might work you know i kind of like it going under the city there uh, we might even be able to level it up a touch. Okay, we're at... Uh, <laughs> we're at 73 there. Maybe we just need it tighter. I don't know whether this extra speed is really gaining us what we need here. Okay, that's at 59. So we can take some of the grade off to get a bit of a run up. Couldn't we? Because heading this way... We don't want to be climbing too much. So we'll have a flat section to pick up some speed. It's 100 miles an hour. There we go. Then we connect in there. I like it, sort of. We get a good run there. I mean, it's massive. It's almost a perfect circle, though, isn't it? Because we obeyed the speed of 100. So we've got like almost a perfect circle running around there. I, I don't really mind. Guys, do we mind that? I mean, it's excessive, but we're going to be doing 100 miles an hour eventually once we get faster trains. And that I do like a lot. And we do actually have a flat section down here that would work as a, a crossing point or wherever the crossing point would be. But I love that we go into the city here. It's kind of nice. I don't know whether you would hear it above ground, but uh, yeah. Guys, there we go. 100 mile an hour helix. I'm sure some of you are not happy about that. <laughs> I'm not convinced with it. But at the same time, I love that uh, I made up a rule that we have to stick to 100 miles an hour. It was certainly interesting to see what the radius would be like, that's for sure. Uh, you can barely see it because it's a single track, but you can see the circle there. And uh, yeah, we head underneath where we enter. So we enter here and then we go past ourselves and fly around at this angle. That's fine, isn't it? We don't need any signals on here. We're only having a single train. Depends what the line rate is. I mean, really, we've only got to match the planes. We knew the planes were, what, 30? And we've got a line rate of... 86 86 we're still above that of the airport if that is the case uh, 30 versus 86 there you go and uh, yeah it's not the best it's not the best route to get from there to the airport but it uh, it's hidden it looks like a straight line that's kind of beautiful yeah I do like that right there we go there we go 
This train doesn't do 100 miles an hour, but there, there will be trains that unlock later on. I will be uploading this. I was waiting for the update. While I'm talking, why don't we uh, test out the, the train here? We also get to see the, uh, the improvements in the performance a little bit. There's a, some micro stutters here and there, but I have noticed some of those micro stutters are actually track related and how the vehicles move on the track and it's the camera juddering as opposed to a performance dip. This one doesn't do 100 miles an hour, but uh, anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> I decided to wait because there's like a conversion of the save game when you load it up. If it's an old, old version of the game, you'll get this once you uh, upgrade to the new version or update to the new patch. You'll notice it, uh, it will ask to replace vehicles, load in new vehicles, and it will also take a lot longer the first time around. So rather than inflict that on you guys, I'm going to wait until the game's out or the, the patch is out, the DLC is out. That way I can save it as is with all of that conversion already done. This one's now the beta anyway, so you don't want that one. And then I'll update it and you'll have this that you can toy with and get some faster trains on in the later years. And uh, let me know what 100 miles an hour round a helix is like. <laughs> an underground helix. It's almost like it's winding up. We could have gone tight. We could have gone 75. It would have been far less of a radius, wouldn't it? Absolutely. But I, yeah, I like it. I like the idea of just going 100. Why I picked 100, I don't know. If you'd have gone any higher, it would have probably been ridiculous and we would have been, I don't know, heading for Chesapeake, probably, with the circle. It would have gone under several towns. I mean, with underground stations, that wouldn't be too bad, would it? If you had an underground station, uh, there are mods on the workshop stations that are underground, so you could have the entrance way up on the helix itself as another stop. So yeah, there you go. Plenty of ideas. We have a flat, se flat section on there, so you could make the flat section where the station is. But I digress. I digress. I like it. I like it. It needs a little bit of tidying up here and there with the, the terrain to make it look like it should be a thing. But it isn't far off, is it? No, and uh, full speed all the way, especially on this one anyway. We're dropping people off. Six people who did not pay for that excursion. Uh, you had a, a bonus go on the uh, the Underground Helix. The Athens Underground Helix. The, well, well, it's a bit of a long name, isn't it? It's actually going to be an official episode. It's actually going to be the uh, Athens 100 mile an hour Underground Helix. There we go. It's got a name. Why not official episode? Right, do we have people on these planes? I think we do, don't we? Yeah, there's six people on there. It's not going to make us the most. I didn't want there to be a huge backlog of people at our, our airports. So, purposefully, I've left it functional, but not too desirable. So, we don't get a backlog of, of people up here and... Uh, we still get some scenery with aircraft, which I think is a nice compromise, isn't it? It just gives us something a little extra in the air. Plus, we can take aircraft rides. I don't know whether these actually have. Let's take a look. Excuse me. Do you have a... Oh, you've got all sorts of goodies going on in here. This looks more detailed. Look at them curtains. Hang on, I need to get my bearings. There we go. Let's go through the... Oh, that's lovely. We're inside the aircraft, guys. Get to the back away from the engines. Can we actually... Oh, now if we look that way, it's louder. Oh, there, there's the propellers down there. And we're going to be on uh, takeoff. I mean, it's not, it's not the best view in the world, is it? But uh, probably realistic. Are we going to take off? There, lovely. Yeah, so if you wanted to have a go in uh, an aircraft over our map, you obviously don't have to view it like that, but uh, you could indeed view it default. Take a look around the map as we go. 
There she goes. Doesn't look bad, does it? I don't want to try and squeeze in the uh, the cabin because we'll be we'll be all up in the the pilots' business, all of them. Oh, that's a nice view though. Def definitely feels smoother, doesn't it? Uh, these ones are not restricted by sticking to the track or the road, so they don't judder around so much. Uh, this is a better test of the performance. Uh, it's moving slower as well, or seemingly so, but we're actually moving along at 94 miles an hour. But yeah, it's it's rendering quite a bit. LOD will probably be a, a, some factor to that, but that's testament to how that works on the rendering but yeah 94 miles an hour there on our aircraft and it's definitely smooth isn't it definitely smooth so we've got an airport run and it's finished and we've got a really extravagant uh helix are you actually coming out or are you starting the run underneath oh no look at that we didn't get very far and he's already heading up i really don't know how <laughs> How eager people are going to be to ride that. No, that's nice. Yeah, stay less eager. I mean, all, everything about the the Athens side of this is just not pleasant anyway. I mean, there's nothing out here, is there? I, I didn't check the trams, guys. Completely forgot we had one. Uh, they look... They look slightly better, don't they? I'm trying to I'm trying to remember what these look like. They do seem different. There seems to be much more going on. Can we get inside? Let's see. We'll know straight away if you get inside because it'll have actual. Uh, oh yeah, no, this is the new one, isn't it? Now we need to sit over here like that and then just look at the uh, look at the door there. Unfortunately, the shadows haven't been fixed. You can still see that it. Uh, stops rendering the shadows far too far too close to the camera or not close enough I should say would be better wouldn't it oh that's nice though that's pleasant lots of cab rides to be had doors open are you not going to sit down ma'am there's plenty of seats you can sit down maybe she doesn't want to get in in my view she doesn't want to ruin the video my helix might have done that though let's face it <laughs> why did i choose 100 miles an hour it makes no sense but yeah guys i'm happy with that that's all i wanted to do today really uh take a look at a few of the vehicles which we have uh, finish off that build so that it sort of made more sense and then i ended up probably going overboard and making it worse as our train goes around the giant helix uh but yeah, guys, not sure if that's a final farewell. I don't think so. I do want to still do the the kind of hour-long atmospheric train watching thing. Just something to have on in the background. I might even watch that myself because it's just nice while you're doing other stuff. And it shouldn't be too intrusive. Sat at a few junctions, perhaps, rotating through a few other the points of interest uh, certainly ones with a bit of action going on anyway and uh, a cab ride or two as well once uh, once all the updates have come through and the the new version is live i'm happy with this map <laughs> i'm just happy with the network it's it's quite solid now isn't it it's uh, free flowing trains don't really get in each other's way you'll see for yourself once i update it i will um i will mention somewhere <laughs> when it's updated perhaps a little mini video saying it's updated yeah that'll do wouldn't it a little mini video and we'll we'll do some train watching together guys should we get on board something then to uh, finish i was going to get on board the diesel but he's a bit well he's not a bit loud but i want to get on something that goes past uh the city is that here we go guys i have a, a cab ride for us we won't get in the cab you got, obviously it's a steam train not much to see unless you stick your head out the window but uh we'll sit on front of this one and uh 
and that way what will happen is we get a, a little bit of a mix don't we 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 get some some running without much detail and then we get right to phoenix up here where there's a lot going on and hopefully we'll see some trains heading back the other way all right guys we're on board the uh the plastics train uh well plastics and steel which is heading all the way up to athens uh, i'll leave it on at least past uh phoenix because then we'll get a rough idea of how the performance is it seems smoother that does make me happy a lot i'm looking forward to the new series maybe i'm actually apprehensive kind of uh, it's it's going to be game mechanics galore uh, i'm not sure how these new scenarios are going to be but i think we should visit them at least at least one and uh, see what the devs have come up with uh, urban that is and uh, and it will have a an actual end point then won't it we'll know when, when it's the end of the series and then we can decide by the end of that what we do next certainly be a little more railway empire -y, which i like i like the structured gameplay sometimes and then i like to do all the, the free play stuff as well but we're sat on front of a big boy which looks kind of nice now doesn't it it's definitely it's definitely newer yeah it's definitely a refresh of the model I hope you enjoyed this series, guys. Again, not entirely 100% sure it's going to be the last in the series. We may have some revisits. Uh, a quick word on Scotland. That is utterly broken right now. I did go in. I spent days in there. And there is so much wrong with it. But I've not given up. It took 10 minutes to load. Dear, oh dear, yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I'm not completely done giving up on that yet. I will be going over it and trying to tidy it up if it was recorded it's probably going to take me about half the time i've already spent on it to, to tidy it up so yeah it, it, it's a little bit disheartening but still i do have other plans in the future for another recreation and a better way of doing it so that it's quicker but yeah so a bit of building off off of camera and then building together and then going over what what's all been added and whatnot so yeah a lot more pretties and uh still a bit of waffling and building together for little projects throughout the series so that'll be a bit of fun guys thank you again for watching i'll leave you on board the big boy i don't know whether it's big boy ben or big boy bill is that right i think i forgot the names no that's right isn't it bill and ben Yes, we are the flower pots. I, I don't know where I'm going with that. That's it from me. And until next time, take care.